Hey everyone, welcome to another Rick's vlog. So yes, I got my Apple Watch uh, on Friday. Uh, finally, after what is it, two years of non-adoption. Uh, at first, uh, I went with the Pebble, the Pebble smartwatch. If you are not familiar with it, it is the only iOS compatible uh, smartwatch that is out there that functions properly. And. Um, we used to have AT&T service and the Pebble smartwatch worked very very well with it so you can text you can uh, send information uh, you can't call with the phone like the Apple watch but uh, it was pretty good for its for its time when it first came out but uh, as you recently know uh, Pebble sold its complete company and and all the innovation to Fitbit and Fitbit completely threw it in the trash so they're not even using anything that the Pebble used to use so that is very disappointing um, so I use an iPhone I've been using iPhone for uh, I don't even know how long now for years and um, everything that I have is Apple so my MacBook my iPad uh, my phone and well decided to go for the Apple watch so what do I love about my watch I love that I can receive notifications wherever I am without having to take my phone out of my pocket so for example my wife can text me from home and I'll be at work and there's a certain predicament I can't really pop up my phone you know in the middle of uh, being on you know at work so what's great is that I can just flip my wrist check out what's the notification and be on my way and if I want to I can just say you know respond and just say a quick you know reply and um, using the text I guess speech to text software that's built into the app, Apple Watch, um, I can send a message. So, makes it great, makes it easy. So the Apple Watch that I chose is, I got the gold one with the blue, uh, what is it called, midnight blue uh, strap, which is pretty cool. I like the color combination. My phone is silver, so it doesn't exactly match what I have. But uh, it's a nice style. I already got a case for it, uh, so I don't scratch it, of course. But um, um, Friday night, uh, after I was using it, I, with the case on, I, I hit the door, because I was carrying my son up, and I hit the door with the face going out, and it scratched the very edge of the uh, plastic cover. So that was kind of sad. But, you know, the watch is fine. It's not scratched. <clears throat> the weight and feel of the watch is pretty light. Uh, I actually like the way this feels more uh, compared to the Pebble. The Pebble was kind of, uh, like you, you know, your arm would sweat and you kind of get discomfort and you'd have to loosen it and tighten it, loosen it and tighten it. This one is, uh, you know, one button. So you just push it on the button, slide the loop back, and it's very comfortable. There's no strap dangling anywhere, which I'd have problems with the pebble. Every time I'd go, you know, reach into something or in my pocket, the, the strap would come off. And with this one, uh, the strap stays place, stays in place. So uh, I love that feature. Um, I don't have to worry about something dangling around. It gets annoying. Uh, the weight. Uh, the weight of the watch is pretty heavy. I did get the 42 millimeter, uh, which is the larger, larger face. Um, I didn't want to go with the 38 because in the end, you know, if in case you do have to touch it, you have a tiny screen trying to touch stuff. And with this one, it's a little bit larger and it makes it a lot easier. And of course, the display is a lot better. 
uh, you get more uh, pixels. I'm not too sure how many pixels because I didn't do all the research, but it's very nice. Very nice retina display. Just be on the lookout, uh, I am going to place an unboxing video of the watch on my other channel which is uh, Rick's Reviews, in case you haven't seen it. It's just Rick's Reviews and it has my big fat face in the front, so you can't miss it. Um, but yeah, um, just be on the lookout for that. I'm, I am going to put a link in the description below in case you guys want to pick one up. Let me put it closer here so you guys can see. Um, I am going to put a link in the description of the watch and I'm going to put a link for the description for the case. The case that I bought for it is pretty nice. Uh, it's not flimsy. It hugs the watch all the way around and, uh, you know, keeps it from getting scratched. So be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys have a terrific day and I'm headed to work so I'm going to have a horrible day but I got to make the best of it. But you guys have a good one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.